Happy Halloween! We are doing our Halloween themed draw with me with this adorable little app I found on my phone to give me some ideas on drawing prompts as Twitter was being a bit of a bugger and wouldn't let me post a poll for some random reason. It's quite a little handy app, it's not sponsored but I do recommend it as it is very good for generating ideas. I've decided to combine two of the ideas uh, into one little illustration to try and make a story, a spooky story for the Halloween theme. So we've got the story prompt, hiding in a wardrobe and a demon hidden in the darkness. Now this is coming up to be quite an interesting story as it gives me certain perspectives to use, as well as where this story could be based due to the fact that it has to have a wardrobe, so it could be a type of room, preferably a bedroom, and we're going to have to use the darkness to kind of give us a idea of what the situation is. For example, where would it be so dark that there would be a demon hiding? Under the bed, perhaps? In the actual wardrobe? There could be. So, let's try and set the scenes for this story. It's Halloween night. You're super excited to go out on the town. Maybe you're having a party and you need to get everything ready as soon as possible before your guests arrive. Maybe you're going trick-or-treating with your friends so you can hoard all of the sweets and have enough to survive you through November. Either way, you're incredibly excited and you want to look absolutely perfect so you can fit in on this special Halloween night. However, something seems to be wrong. It's eerily quiet outside your window considering the fact that it is Halloween. You're running late so usually the sound of trick-or-treaters would be coming by and dinging the doorbell asking for sweeties. A little confused but not overly worried as maybe everyone else is just running late just like you. Or maybe the clocks went forward, who knows. You're looking everywhere you can so you can get everything you need. Your costume lying on your bed Looking all snazzy, you are excited. However, there's something amiss. A bang can be heard. Stomping of big, heavy boots. Shocked and confused. The unknowing of this situation that is happening. You bolt into the wardrobe. Peeking out ever so slightly. Just in case you can try to understand what is going on. You're alone in the house tonight and it is scary. You don't know what will happen. The big heavy thumping of boots making their way up the stairs. Stuff crashing and being smashed. You huddle up close to the warm bundles of clothing in the wardrobe, hoping that the light from the hallway and other rooms will distract whoever has broken into your home, so they would not enter your room and you could somehow escape. However, there is a part of you that hopes this is just a prank, and that your friend who was meant to come here just got here early and are playing a prank on you. You hear the boots walk into your room. You peek out from the closet and what do you see? Big heavy black boots of a tall dark figure carrying a very shiny, strangely similar glittery axe. Fear courses through your body and a cold chill runs up your spine. It's almost impossible to look away at the tall man 
or human unknown to you in your room now whatever could this creature want is it a creature looking around the room from your small crack trying hard not to be seen you spy under your bed in shock you see your friend shaking in fear how did they get under your bed why are they there and if they're under your bed then where did this person come from and who are they you figured your friend must have been trying to play a prank on you and had hidden under your bed when they got to your house early but then you've realized that they are in as much danger as you if not more as everyone knows that under the bed is where you always look first you are scared confused you wish everything would just engulf in black so that you could hide forever never to be seen by the tall mysterious stranger stomping around your room the big heavy combat boots with big buckles give the character a distinct feel you can feel your eyes pulsing with fear and annoyance but the shock is still there you want to know what is going on but seeing that axe brings shivers to your spine and you know you would not fare well against it as it gleams golden yellow just like your eyes you know that axe you've heard stories about it from your parents and your parents friends it is an axe used for killing monsters such as yourself and your dear friend hidden under the bed you're uncertain of what to do never before as you thought you would actually meet this person this human hunter of monsters in your lifetime you wonder how many monsters he has slain on this halloween night considering the amount of shine and glitter on his axe the remains of monsters monsters being made out of entirely magic can become very rare and valuable assets when used correctly however it is never a pleasant sight to see how your people can be used in such a way drip and drop sparkle and twinkle you're blinded by the light as you see the shines drip off the giant axe your breath becomes quick your eyes slip and become wide you're unsure of what to do You panic once more, worried that you will lose your sparkle and that this human will take it from you. Looking under your bed once again from the awkward angle of your wardrobe, you see your dear friend. You stare into their golden eyes. You can tell they are scared. They're glowing immensely bright. It will soon give them away. You see them shaking and trembling, trying to calm down, just so the shine from their monster skin will stop glowing, illuminating under the bed and the long bed sheets that are blocking the hunter's view from them. 
Their long claws tap against the floor nervously, trying to calm oneself yet make no noise. You both look at each other with uncertainty and wonder what will happen to you. The, more, the hunter just stays still, searching for something but never moving from their spot. What could they want? Why are they standing there? After a while, your friend was able to calm down, easing their glowing. If only they had been wearing a costume, they wouldn't have to worry about this right now, but you never expect this sort of thing to happen in your own home to be hunted and to lock, be locked away. The fear you feel makes you nervous, unable to think clearly. Yet you have to think, you have to understand your situation so that you may survive it and so that you may save those who you wish to help. The buckles of the hunter's boots shine ever so slightly when they are too close to the remains of the monsters glittering on the axe. The thick soles digging into your plush carpet leave heavy footprints. He obviously wasn't worried about leaving evidence behind. How could they have got here? It doesn't make any sense. Is there a way out? Or will you just have to lie in wait? Monsters are known for their patience, yes, but usually it is because they are the ones who are causing the fear, not the ones being hunted. Humans have started to become strange as of late. They have stopped admiring the monsters and stopped dressing up as them on nights such as tonight. You're never sure what will happen. But then you've realised the silence outside makes sense as you see the glitter Left on the hunter's boots, you understand now why there were no trick-or-treaters knocking on your door. Glitter.